We were welcomed to the home of Mohandas Gandhi in the residential neighborhood of Orchards in Johannesburg by our tour guide who gave us a brief history of the origins of the home. The house was built in 1907 by architect Herman Kallenbach who forged a friendship with Gandhi during his 21 years stay in South Africa. Built in the style of an African kraal with rondavals and a thatched roof, the public spaces in this Gandhi monument double as an exhibition area narrating chapters of Gandhi's South African experience. The houses purposefully did not have connecting doors and it was necessary to leave one house in order to enter the other. Both Gandhi and Kalambach shared this abode from 1908 to 1909. The house has a new name and it is called Satyagraha House. The property is a registered part of the country's historical heritage and has been tastefully restored and cleverly integrated as a museum and a guest house. Our first encounter was a signature board that was signed by Gandhi himself in 17 languages. Gandhi signed this at the bottom of a letter to a friend in 1944. These languages include Devangari, Roman, Gujarati, Persian, Tamil, Old Canarese, Malayalam, Telugu, Canarese, Bengaki and Oriya. Taking a walk further down, we find the two round novels where we were met with pictures of Gandhi before his own personal revolution. Not quite how we are accustomed to seeing the icon. So the first experience was when he was thrown off the train uh, because he had a first class ticket but as an Indian man he was not allowed to be in first class, he had to be in third, uh, the third class. The Rondavals take us through the phases of Gandhi to the picture we all associate him with. Within these walls, the future Mahatma spent time meditating as he spun cotton on his loom. It was here where he created and developed his philosophy of passive resistance, such a graha in transcript. A pacifist method of protest that he employed in India to lead the country to independence. His principles remain evident in the minimalistic decor and simplicity of all which combine to create a haven for visitors of the city. One of the rooms has been transformed into a timeline retracing the lives, travels and experiences of both Gandhi and Kalimbach, particularly those they shared there. Taken from Gandhi's very first encounter in South Africa, a routine procedure of the time at the Peter Maritzburg train station, Gandhi's arrest for defending his rights to travel in the whites only wagon would later change the world. This event is what initiated Gandhi's contemplation of racial discrimination and represents the beginning of his philosophy of non-violent protests and many arrests in the defense of the Indian people. Below this is a room used as a kitchen and a storage place that also served as a refrigerator. The knowledge that the great Gandhi once occupied this space is awe-inspiring. The passive resistance Satyagraha, the truth force, was born and evolved in South Africa before coming to India and eventually to the world. When at 46, Gandhi left the country. He also left a way of thinking and acting that found an echo in many of the country's struggles, most notable that of Nelson Mandela. Even as Gandhi's adventure in South Africa started in Durban, Johannesburg witnessed his main struggles. The Satyagraha House is thus a place that left its imprint on the life of the Mahatma.